the magic soup. The magic soup. Little Johnny woke up late in the morning. Where's mom? He looked around. There was no one at home. Johnny felt hungry. There wasn't anything for his breakfast. Everybody has forgotten Johnny's breakfast. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Johnny started to howl. He howled so loud that who was, who he, uh, were in the kitchen got panicked. Somebody is crying, aren't they? The vegetable basket peeped out of to hear better. I am hungry, came a sound. Oh, the Johnny crying in hunger. They were, they worried. What can we do? They got together and thought, let's make a soup for him. Mr. Carrot came up with an idea. Yes, yes, let's make a soup, everybody agreed. Let's make a soup, let's make a soup, the vegetable basket danced. Mr. Carrot was so impatient that he jumped out first, then Mr. Bean jumped and Mrs. Potato followed it next. Mrs. Cabbage was too fast, so she was the last to come out. Let's wash ourselves and get clean it, otherwise Johnny will get a stomachache. They ran to the sick. The tap turned on the water flows out. Mrs. Cabbage, you are always dirty. Wash yourself properly, Mr. Bean teased. They scrubbed themselves well and had a quick bath. Let's get into the saucepan, Mr. Carrot was so impatient. As usual, he was about to jump into saucepan. Just wait. You have to be cut into slices for the soup, said Mr. Knife, shoving his shiny blade. Oh, where we come? All of them ran onto the chopping board. Mr. Knife and cut them into slices, hurriedly jumped up and down. Land jump into the saucepan. All of them got into the saucepan. The saucepan ran to the tap and poured water into himself. Oh, please, can I join, please? I can make a tasty. Miss Tomato peeped from the basket and asked shyly, Van then go to the nap and get washed quickly. Hurry up, no one should join the soup without cleaning up, said the saucepan. Miss Tomato ran to the tap. She got washed. Then she got cut and cut and jumped into the saucepan. Let's go to the stove. The saucepan ran to the stove. Hey, wait a moment until I join. How can you make the magic soup without me? The bottle of salt shouted from the other end. Oh, yes, hurry up and get in. The spoon of salt jumped out of the bottle and got into the saucepan smiling. Then the saucepan ran to the stove and the fire turned it on. The saucepan heated up, the water boiled up and the vegetable began to dance. Let's make a soup, let's make a soup, let's make a yummy soup for little Johnny. Hurry up, hurry up, let's make a soup, vitamins, vitamins, A, B, C, D, E, delicious and naturals. They sang as the water danced. Mr. Carrot, Mrs. Potato and other also danced to the beat. When they danced, it started to smell delicious. They danced even more. What's that delicious smell? Johnny got out of the bed and peeped into the kitchen. Oh, Johnny has come. Let's get into a bowl quickly. He must be very hungry now. They rushed and poured themselves into a bowl. The bowl of soup hurried onto the table. It smelled so tempting. He sat on the chair. The spoon ran to his right side. The servity swerped around his neck. Johnny's mouth watered. He couldn't wait any more. He took a spoonful from the bowl and slipped. Oh, yummy! It's a magic soup! 
he said, smacking his lips. Everybody in the bowl of soup smiled happily.